Hi everyone, uh, my name is Muhammad Ali Heder and today I will talk about uh, a very good book regarding the winning. Um, chapter 1, Introduction. Every day there is a new question. After I finished my autobiography, a fun but crazily intense grind that I weighed into the corners of my real job at the time, I swear I would never write another book again. But I guess I did. My excuse, if there is one, is that I did not actually come up with the idea for this book. It was given to me. It was retirement present, if you will, from the tens of thousands of traffic terrific people I have met since I left GE, and the energized, curious, gusty, and ambitious men and women who have loved their business enough to ask me every possible question you could imagine. In order to answer them, all I had to do was figure out what I knew, sort it out, codify it, and borrow their stories, and this book was off and running. The question I am referring to, uh, to first started during the promotional tour for my autograph biography in late 2001 and through much of 2002 when I was overwhelmed by the emotional attachment people seem to have to GE from, from coast to coast and in many countries around the world people told me touching stories about their experiences working for the company and what happened when their sister, dad, aunt, or grandfather did. But with these stories, I was also surprised to hear how much more people wanted to know about getting the business right. Radio calling guest pressed me to explain GE systems of differentiation, which separates employees into three performance categories and manage them up or out accordingly. People attended books signing events wanted to know if I really meant what I said the head of human resources at every company should be at least as important as the CFO I did at a visit to the University of Chicago Business School and MBA from India asked me to explain more fully, uh, more fully what a real good performance appraisal should sound like. The question did not stop after the book tour. The continued in airports, restaurants, and elevators. Once a guy swam over to me in the surf of Miami Beach to ask me what I uh, thought about a certain franchise opportunity he was considering. But mainly, and they have come at the 150 or so QA and N session. I've participated in over the past three years in cities around the world from New York to Shanghai, from Milan to Mexico City. In these sessions, which have, uh, range, uh, have ranged from 30 to 5,000 audience uh, uh, members, I have sit on the stage with moderator, usually a business journalist, and I try to answer anything the audience wants to throw at me. And throw, they have questions about everything from cop from coping with uh, coping with Chinese competition to managing talented but difficult people. To finding the perfect job, to implementing Six Sigma, to hiring the right team, to leading in uncertain times, to surviving mergers and acquisitions, to delivering a killer strategy. What should I do? I have heard if I deliver great results, but I work for a jerk who doesn't seem to care, or if I am the only person in my company who thinks change is necessary, or if the budget process in my company is full of and send backing or I am about to launch a great uh, new product and headquarters doesn't want to give me the autonomy and resources I need. What can I do? People have asked me if managers in my company don't really tell it like it or I have to let go of an employee I really like but I who just can't hack it or I have to help lead my organization through the crisis we have been trying to deal with for a year. There have been questions about juggling the colliding demands of kids, career, and all that other stuff you want to do, like play golf, renovate your house, or waste money in walkathon. There have been questions about uh, landing the promotion of your dreams without making any enemies. There have been questions about uh, macroeconomics trends, uh, emerging industries, and currency fluctuations. 
there have been literally thousands of questions but most of them come to down to this what does it take to win and that is what this book is about winning probably no other topic could have made me want to write again because i think winning is great not good great winning in business is great because when companies win people thrive and grow there are more job and more opportunities everywhere and for everyone people feel upbeat about the future they have the resources to send their kids to college get better health care buy vacation house homes and secure a comfortable retirement and winning afford them the opportunity to and give back to society in hugely uh, important ways beyond just praying uh, more uh, taxes they can donate time and money to charities and mentors in inner city schools to name just two winning lift everyone in that is it makes the world a better place when companies are losing on the other hand everyone's take a hit people feel scared they have less functional security and limited time or money to do anything from any for anyone else else they do is worry and upset their families and in the meantime if they are out of work they play little of any taxes let's talk about taxes for a minute in fact let's talk about government in general obviously government is a vital part of society first and foremost it does nothing less than protect us from the in- insidious and uh, persistent challenges to national security that they are with us now and for the foreseeable future but governments provide much more uh, the justice system education police and free protection highways and ports welfare and hospitals the list go on and on but even with the virtue of government it, it is critical to remember that all of these services come from some form of tax revenue government makes no money of its own and is that way the government is a support for the engine of the economy it is not the engine itself winning companies and the people who work for them are the engine of a healthy economy and in providing revenues for government they are the foundation of a free and democratic society that's why winning is great now it goes without saying that you have to win the right way uh, clearly and by the rules there's given companies and people that do not compete fairly don't deserve to win and thanks to well on internal company processes and government regulatory agencies that bad guys are usually found and kicked out of the game but companies and people in business that are honest and that's the vast vast majority must find the way to win this book offers a road map the, and it is not incidentally a road map just for senior level managers and ceos if this book helps them traffic i hope it does but this book is also very much for people on the front lines business owners middle managers people running factories line managers college graduates looking at their first jobs and bs considering new careers and entrepreneurs my main goal with their book is to help the people with ambition in their eyes and passion running through their veins whenever they are in organization you will meet a lot of people in this book some may remind you of yourself some may just seem very familiar there's the ceo who has present the company with a list of noble values say quality customer service and respect but never really explains what it means to live them there's the mid, uh, middle manager who who fumes during a meeting with another dvn of this company knowing that his co-worker could do so much more if they just stopped patting themselves on their back for a minute there's the employees who have been underperforming for years but it it is just so friendly and nice and clueless you you can't bring yourself to let her go there's colleague who can't look in the eye because he is a dead man walking slowly and painfully being managed out of the door there are employees who eat lunch every day at what they have double dubbed the table of lost dreams making a show of their uh, sentiment of authority there's an engineer who spent 15 years building a great and uh, great career only to throw it one one day when she realized that she had uh, juggled life and work to make everyone happy but herself you also meet a lot of people 
whose stories are samples of innovation, insight, and grit. Guest David Novak, the energetic young CEO of Yum! Brands who just turned every one of Yum's more than 33,000 restaurants chain outlet into a laboratory of a new idea and an entire organization into a learning machine. This Dennis Madden, the consumable change agent who never settles for good enough and has intensity to burn. This Jimmy Dunn, who rebuilt this company out of the ashes of the World Trade Center using love, hope, and an attitude that anything is possible. This Suzanne Peters, a working mother and the number two HR executive at HE, at GE, who could write a book herself on successfully navigating the hills and valleys of work-life balance. This Chris Navita, the CEO of U.S. Steel Resources, who helped transform a struggling city in Slovakia while running a former state-owned steel mill into flourishing, profitable enterprise. This Yen Yu, the head of 3M's Chinese operations, who capitulated this business from modest to high growth by throwing out the twinning duties of annual budgeting and replacing it with a size the limit dialogue about opportunities. This Mark Little, who has the wasting after a demotion of a GE but fought his way back to a huge promotion with courage, resilience, and the great results. People are everything when it comes to winning, and so this book is thought about people, in some cases the mistakes they have made, but more often their success. But mostly this book is about ideas and the power of putting them into actions. Now it's at this point there might be readers who out there who are skeptical they are thinking winning is just too uh, nouns and complex a topic to cover in 20 chapters i don't care how many people and ideas are in this book yes winning is nouns and complex but to mention totally hard but it is also happens to be achievable you can win but to do that you need to know that what makes winning happen this book offers no easy formulas there are none Depending on the chapter, this book does, however, give you guidelines to follow, rules to consider, assumptions to drop, and mistake to avoid. The strategy chapter provides a three-step process. The chapter one, finding the right job, offers you good signs and warning signals. There are also several themes you will hear again and again. The team with the best player wins. So find and retain the best players. Don't overbrain things to do the point of inaction, no matter what part of business you are in, sharing, learning, philanthropy, have a positive attitude and spread it around, never let yourself to be victim, and for goodness sake, have fun, has, have fun, business is a game and winning the game is a total blast. The road ahead, before we get started, a word on how this book is organized, it has four parts, the first called Underneath It All. It's conceptual. It certainly contains more management philosophy than most business titles have time for an, any given day and certainly more than I ever thought about it one sitting when I was working the day shift. But that as substructure of principles to my approach to business and so I lay them out in this first part. In brief, the four principles are about the importance of a strong mission and concrete values, the absolute necessity of control in every aspect of management, the power of differentiation, meaning a system based on meritocracy and the value of each individual receiving voice and dignity. The next section of this book, Your Company, is about the image of organization. It is about mechanics, people, process, and culture. Its chapters looks at leadership, hiring people, management, letting people go, managing change, and crisis management. And after your company comes your competition, the section of this book about the world outside your organization. It uh, discusses how your create strategic advantages, devise meaningful budgets, grow organi- organically, grow through mergers and acquisitions, and it attempts to demystify a topic that never ceases to intrigue and baffle people. The quality program six sigma the next section of this book is called your career and it is about managing the arc and the quality of your professional life it is about man uh, it is uh, starts with a chapter on finding the right job not just as first job but the right job at any point in your career it also includes a chapter on what it takes 
to get promoted and another on the hard spot we all find ourselves in one time or another working for a bad boss the last chapter of this section addresses some very human desire to have it all all the same time which as you already know you can't really do you can however know what your boss thinks about the matter and you should and what that one aspect of this chapter the last section of this book is uh, called and uh, typing uh, typing up loose ends and it is in it i answer nine questions and that did not fall into any of the above categories the concerns managing china threat diversity the impact of new regulations like the suburbs of sri act and how business should respond to societal crisis like aids there's also question in there about how many successful chefs and friends is uh, doing in a world state the status of my golf game and whether i think i will go to heaven now that was the question that stopped me as for the rest of the questions in this book they did not uh, exactly stop me but they didn't challenge me to think hard about what i believe and why this book has a lot of answers but not all because business is always changing and the world is always changing as a dutch entrepreneur said to me last year every day in life there is a new question that is what keeps us going and there are new questions and new answers too in fact i have learned almost as much about business since i left ge as when i worked there i learned from every single question asked of me and i hope my responses will help you learn too please subscribe to this uh, channel to uh, learn about more about this book and other books Thank you.